Don't use MSG, it's so bad for your health. Please don't. Avoid as much as you can. That you probably want to hear, or probably not. And some dietitians, nutritionists, fitness coaches, all against of MSG. Oh no, don't use MSG, it's so bad for your health. Oh no, MSG will damage your nervous system. It will make you stupid. Uh, it's not good for your gut. It's not good for your health. Oh, don't use it, don't use it. That's what some people believe that MSG is such a monster that we shouldn't use, but at the same time, they eat McDonald's, pizza, they're overweight with multiple of health complications, but no, don't use MSG. No, MSG is really bad. Some people smoke or drink a lot, completely get drunk every single weekend, but no, don't use MSG. Don't use MSG. What the MSG? MSG, it's a flavor enhancer. Answer. It's fantastic. It's perfect. It's perfect and it will not damage your nervous system. You will not become stupid. It will not uh, damage your health or uh, disturb your microbiome. No, none of those. There isn't any scientific evidence that MSG is bad for our health. If there is, then look who sponsored that study uh, to say that MSG is not good for you. I use MSG and it does enhance your food. Your food tastes amazing. And no, it doesn't make you hungry after one hour like people say. People say, when I eat MSG, like Chinese or any takeaway, uh, I uh, hungry after one hour or one and a half hour. You're hungry because it's junk food and any junk food you eat, you will be hungry after one hour or after two hours. So it's not the MSG. Stop blaming MSG for everything. No, it's fantastic for the food. I read one study where they say MSG is not good for pregnant women and children under two years of age. Uh, but again, these haven't been tested. No one wants to use pregnant women as a guinea pig and try to test MSG. No, same as the children, you don't. But, and I didn't use MSG when uh, my kids was under two and when I was pregnant, I didn't use MSG. Maybe occasionally I would buy takeaway when I was pregnant. I don't know, I can't remember, but could be. Um, it didn't hurt my kids, so I've got three, it didn't hurt <laughs> them. And I do use in almost every single dish. It's not bad for you. Please don't think it's just something like, uh, like a monster or something, no. If you're on a prep and you're on a plain diet, MSG will enhance your food. It will taste delicious. Simple, uh, your rice will taste much better. Yes, you want it more, but like with anything else, if you add spices and if the food tastes uh, brilliant, you want it more. Again, why blaming MSG? That is MSG fault. No. Some people say, no, no, I'm not uh, buying takeaway uh, because I've got MSG and I'm getting hungry. No, it's not that because the takeaway you got, it's been cooked, overcooked and a uh, bunch of preservatives and other things that uh, you don't know what in there. And that's what makes you hungry. What makes you hungry because of the uh, spike of insulin. So you eat this food, they digest very quickly, they use low vegetables. This food contains a lot of sugar and I tried recently one Chinese takeaway, like a little bit I tried, someone got it and I tried a little bit and I thought, wow, that's very sweet. Uh, sweet chicken I tried and I thought, oh no, with peanut butter. So the fat and sugar, you will get hungry very quickly. 
it's not MSG, it's just the food spike your insulin. The same way if you will eat white bread or chocolate or donuts, you'll be hungry very quickly because you have this sudden spike of insulin and then you'll feel hungry. So again, it's not MSG. Don't be scared of MSG, it will enhance your food. Your food will taste amazing. Try it. You don't need to uh, put tons of MSG in your food, no, just little sprinkle. The only way MSG can damage my health is if uh, I will dilute all the pack with water and have it in one go. I will end up in hospital, of course I will. But. Uh, uh, People have common sense. You wouldn't do this, would you? If you would, comment below. I hope you don't. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> so, a tiny bit, and this pack will last me for, I don't know, a year, maybe a year and a half. Uh, you only need a tiny bit, and the food will taste best. Even the bland, uh, tasteless meal will taste good. Another way for food to taste good, you can use lots of different spices and that will enhance your food flavor too. So use spices. Spices are a great way to transform your food into something magical. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please comment below and let me know if you use MSG and what do you think about MSG. Trust me, I wouldn't use something that would damage my health. And I'm a clinical nutritionist, fitness coach, I'm studied biochemistry. I would never use something that would damage, and I mean damage, damage, damage my health. No, I wouldn't. I don't have uh, any bad reasons to not use MSG. Look after yourself, enhance your food with lots of different flavors so the food tastes delicious. I hope you like this video. Look after yourself, look after your health. Your health is your wealth. And I will see you very, very soon, probably in two days. Bye.